Yeah, hello guys. A wonderful good morning from Berlin, Germany. It's round about, yeah, it's 10.20 exactly. And we have a stormy weather today. Autumn is coming and summer already moved on. But <laughs> I'm not sad about it. I love the four seasons. And today I would like to talk about the structures on the moon. What a big surprise, huh? Yeah, especially um, talking about the latest moon video. So we talk about the documentary. And before we start, let me tell you guys, thanks for your support. Uh, thanks for the positive feedback. Um, producing a documentary of around about 22 minutes. It took me more than one week. I'm not kidding. And I didn't know how much time it takes to create a documentary. Well, yeah. Um, if you'd make it by your own one man army style. So it really takes a long time. The second part, um, the second episode of this documentary series will probably go in production um, end of next week. Not sure, but I guess end of September, beginning October. Um, I have no time before that. So just to let you know that I'm <clears throat> That this stuff is in the pipeline. Yeah, guys, um, I think we start the engines and jump over to, yeah, to the great image that was shot during the Apollo 13 mission. By the way, guys, by the way, guys, um, I'm convinced, meanwhile, that the Apollo missions, they started um, probably Apollo 10, 11 and 12 or 13 really uh, went up to the Earth's orbit. But all the images we can um, explore in the library were made before the missions. The missions were made for collecting the taxes. Yeah? And all this money um, was spent into the main, yeah, the most of the money was spent into the dark or black black projects, uh, the so-called black projects. And these black projects um, yeah, were um, controlled by the DARPA. And the DARPA was um, founded in the same year as NASA was founded. And the DARPA is the um, Defense Advanced um, Research, I don't know, I forgot. <laughs> but it's the military complex. Yeah. And NASA and the Apollo missions and all that stuff um, was for the masses. A big show, a big, big show. But well, they brought back some stuff. But the most images were made by the lunar orbiters. The lunar, the lunar orbiter program, this is some, some topic I will put into the next or over the next documentary. Not sure. Let's see. But it's very important to know um, that they already realized before they started the Apollo missions that the moon is completely inhabited by someone by some other species. The Russians did know and that led to a secret to a secrecy of both um, big powers. And that is a fact. The Cold War scenery was, I'm not sure if it was more show. I think it was a serious thing, but 
talking about space and moon. In this case, both powers worked together and had a secrecy till the day. And that is a fact. It's simply to prove. Okay, guys, start with the engines. Um, let me tell you guys here in Germany, the politics, the politicians um, trying to destroy the middle class step by step. It's so clearly to see, so clear to see what they are going to do, destroying the industries, the middle class. And this is part of the World Eco Economic Forum agenda. And Germany is, uh, I don't know, but this is a self-destroying act, what we are going to explore now. Yeah, that's a sad story, but I think well, the old structures are that poisoned that it's good that we can um, break it down. But we should do it by our own, not by these people. The people who are hiding the truth in different topics, the moon, uh, energy, and so on. Breakaway civilizations and so on. So much topic. Okay, guys. Um, Apollo 13. And as we already can see, the ring buildings, the ring-shaped buildings um, that was yeah, Carl Wolf talking about, we can see the bright shining um, sources down there, active light sources, very probably. And the whole surface is full of infrastructure. Yeah, um, this here, by the way, guys, um, is Mari Krishum. I think the most of you know, but I want to talk to the people who are here for the first or second time. This, my friends, is Mari Krishum. It's round about 600 kilometers in diameter. 600 kilometers. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if we really talk about an ocean, the Marie, but this area is deeper than the surrounding area. It goes way deeper. And we can look in there and we already can see the structures here. So much stuff to see. And we have all these um, single shapes of, of um, ring or mushroom shaped buildings. We have the Picar and uh, I don't know what's the name of this one, the Picar crater. And it's amazing. And today we will talk about the Joliot crater, the Lomonosov crater, Bruno Giordano, uh, Giminus, I think, Giminus. And yeah, so much to explore. I mean, the whole, <laughs> the whole, the whole area is worse to talk about. <laughs> but well, we have to start somewhere. Um, all right, let's go. Yeah, it was my goal to um, show you that Karl Wolf was talking, speaking the truth, and he was absolutely right. And yeah, I chose, yeah, what we already can see in this shot, the so-called um, mushroom shape tower buildings. These ones are really, really tall, constructed in the air. Um, I will show you some other images later um, where we can see these domes, towers from the side not the bird's eye view. The bird's eye view is um, pretty cool for um, analyzing and grabbing the infrastructure, as we can see here. When we look down to the ground, we can see all these 
connection lines, so many angles and a bunch of yeah, uh, squares, angles, whatever. And this is so um, so much evidence for infrastructure. Look at this here. This one. And these ring shape structures, towers, are standing everywhere on the ground different sizes but everywhere and i don't know what's the function of these structures but i think um that these towers have a special function of collecting sun energy i mean sun energy is free energy so if they really can use the whole impact of sun energy the energy intensity well the sun is the the the, the biggest power plant in in our solar system so <laughs> why shouldn't we use it huh free energy for everyone so simple okay move on yeah this comparison is very important to show you that this is Earth from the bird's eye view, from a satellite, and this is the moon. And my friends, I don't know what you can see, <laughs> but I can see that the moon is similar. Um, okay. Better. Uh, the moon is similar to Earth. And look at the Bay Area. It's completely artificial constructed. Everything we can see here with a harbor, harbor areas. Look at this. Perfect in shape. And now, guys, we take a look at the moon. And this is similar. But the structures we are talking about are way bigger, way, way bigger. I mean, the structures are gigantic, mega structures. And look at the perfect pie example here. Look at this. Just follow the mouse cursor. This is a perfect curve of a massive construction. We talk about kilometers. So this piece of structure here must be round about yeah, 15 kilometers, something like this. 15 kilometers, a curved structure. Well, because I know that these craters are, moment. These ones are, I think 41 and 32, something like this. Oops. These ones. Yeah, so if you have a scale of size, you can really use it for any structure you are pointing. You set the focus on because we have the bird's eye view. And that means when we have this range of, for example, 32 or 41 kilometers, we take 40. You have a clue how big the other structures are. It's pretty simple. And look at this. Here we are, we are again. These ones, 10 kilometers. 10 kilometers tower. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, in diameter, I don't know how tall they are, but must be pretty tall. Because we have air traffic everywhere. I will show you air traffic in, a, in another um, image. It's absolutely impressive. Yeah, so um, Earth and Moon. And guys, it's not magic. I have done nothing than just um, the hasty image, bring in more um, sharpness and bring in a color and light balance. That's all I did. 
and I showed you step by step. And again, yeah, ring shape. Um, this looks like a, I think this is a city in Germany. I remember we have the agra fields. We have the roads, highways. We can see all the connections, connection lines so fine here. We have a railroad, <clears throat> sorry. We have a bridge, different bridges. We have rivers. And I will show you with the magnifier again. So this is Earth. I think this is Kitzingen in Germany, somewhere in Bavaria. I'm not sure, uh, but I think I remember that. And this is a town wall, a old, an old town wall of a very old city. And this is the center, old houses with red roofs, um, inner circle. And look at this, it's perfect. Small uh, ways, pathways, railroad, a river, and so on. And then make comparison to the moon. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty simple to identify. And I wish more people would do that. Just take your time. Download the images, get your magnifier in front of a huge screen and be impressed. That's <laughs> so that's every time I do the same, I stay in front of the screen and then, oh my fucking God. Greetings to another civilization. Amazing. Really, really amazing. Yes. Yeah, these ring structures. Yeah, so so clear to see. Um, I'm wondering if this is water. Because the black areas leading, I will show you again, leading into smaller pathways or call it water roads channels. Look at the um, small, thin, black pathways going into the area that is completely infrastructured. Follow the water line, the, the water road, like small channels connecting a larger area. Remember Venice, but it's everywhere, especially when we follow this way, we have bridges and we have bay areas and we have these water roads. You see that? The black area. Just focus on the black area again here. The water is all over. Water channels everywhere. This must be water. Same story here. I may be wrong. But look at this, small water channels everywhere. And the structures we are talking about are standing tall. What does it mean when we would uh, be down there? I think this must look majestic. I wouldn't say paradise, but worth for living. I hope so, <laughs> but I'm not sure. But my, just make the comparison, guys. Black area, water. Um, these ones, probably small power plants collecting sun energy in double function with landing platforms. Simple. Clever and simple. And makes sense to me because our sun gives everything life's need. Sun uh, energy. Hot, warm, you know what I mean? So everything you need is given by the sun. And if you have technology that is so powerful and developed to collect 
50 or 100 percent of the intensity of radiation of the sun. We have no problems anymore with energy. I'm convinced of that. Do we need um, fusion reactors? Do we need that? I'm not sure. Well, it's a lot of speculation, I know, but uh, when I see these guys, I get lost into Yeah, what are these guys doing down there? Are they friendly? Are they live in harmony? Um, are these guys in connection with us? I think so. Are these guys humanoids? Or Dracos? Or Greys? We don't know. But other people know. Yeah, let's go on, guys. Um, same again. Artificial constructed sea, lake, and look at the water channels. I talked before. Everywhere. Yeah. So artificial constructed rivers, side rivers, channels leading into this lake and this is probably what we can see here but this lake is way bigger <laughs> than this one um so this one must be around about mm -hmm, yeah 30 kilometers or 40 30 40 kilometers in diameter this lake if we talk about a lake, I'm not sure, but it looks to me. We have a bridge, we have all these bay areas and these small water channels. So when you go for a closer inspection of these images, project it on a huge screen, take your magnifier and you will see what I mean, guys. This is pure infrastructure. This is pure intelligent beings and it does not look that different to what we know from Earth. But the size is way bigger. That's a big difference. And te technology. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a bit, uh, I don't know what, what happened, but it's a bit um, tired. And I really love the perfect shapes. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, let's go on. I will let the camera fly and get something to eat. Ooh. Give me a second, please. Okay, back again. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think we activate the magic pen. And look at this, we have, I mean, it's not a clear angle, but you can see the shape. You see what I mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octagon shaped construction. Um, constructed by many, many single structures standing in a row, side by side, surrounding this lake. Well, I'm not sure if we talk about a lake, but it makes sense to me. And let's draw the water channels again. So when you, you have a boat somewhere here, you start your boat and driving to this area, 
meeting a friend. You cross the bridge here and then you go this water channel. The whole way and meeting a friend somewhere here. Just imagine that, guys. Or you take this way. <clears throat> there are different ways, a lot of connection lines on the ground. And to me, it really looks like that we talk about water roads, water channels. What do you think, guys? Am I wrong? Or makes does it make sense to you? And we probably talk about crystal clear water. The reason for, I say that, because the lunar orbiter and Apollo um, footages, the images, the photographs, show so many details on the ground, in the ground, so clear, for example here, that to me it looks like that there are many structures under the waterline and that is a sign for crystal clear water. That means that these guys probably live in balance with nature or ecological system. I hope so, but I don't know. It's uh, pure speculation by analyzing these um, impressions. Okay, go on. Yeah. Look at the um, the concentration of. I mean, the whole image is like a punch in everybody's face who believes that the moon is gray and unreal to live. Um, everything we are looking at is artificial. We have angles, we have curves, and it goes deeper in the ground. Look at here. It goes deeper. So this one is top of the structure, top of the building. It's constructed in the air for kilometers. I will show you in a different image what I'm talking about. It's so breathtaking. Boom. <laughs> Whoa, it's so huge. So 75 kilometers in diameter. So this one is 40. 30 yeah. and here we have it again these yeah probably a huge lake bay areas and study for your own and make comparison google bay areas from satellite view on earth it looks similar. And well, life needs water, life needs sun, light. Well, there are creatures in the deep ocean that they live without sunlight, but they are so small. But I think general life really needs um, sun, light, and at least light, <clears throat> and water, and air. 
and love. All you need is love. Yeah. I wish it would be that simple. <laughs> Yeah, and we see that the whole surface is f littered by so many structures and connection lines. Um, and well, guys, these things on the ground are not pixels. It's image information coming from the image and captured by the Hasselblad camera. So hundreds, thousands of connections on the ground. And the so-called mushroom shape buildings here. But these mushroom shape buildings, um, yeah, I think they have a double function, towers, sun collectors and so on and look one two three four five six and you can see that these structures are standing from the ground in the air because you see that all the stuff surrounding is in a lower section we can see it by a little shadow fall um, but you can see that these the edge of the structures are way higher than the ground level no. And seeing this from our angle of view, this means that these structures are that massive. And there are other images with real shadow falls. It's incredible that you can see the shadow falls of these structures. That means that they are huge, big as hell. <laughs> Yeah, a great area is coming. This, my friends, is Mari. The whole area here is Mar Marginus. Mar Marginus is an amazing area, um, especially this district is absolutely impressive because it's pure architecture. Uh, you can see it by your own. The, the inner shape. Wow, it's incredible. Completely constructed, guys. Artificial. And um, I captured this area from a different angle of view in another video. Um, we could check it out. We have the time. Mm. Okay. All right, I think it was this one here. Mar, yeah, Luna, Luna Far Side. I was playing with artificial color overlays, so it looks a bit different with colors. But look at the impressive uh, mushroom shape buildings here and here, everywhere. But I will show you the the area from a different angle of view. So we have a great comparison for the analysis oh yes oh yes oh yes oh yes i think here we are okay better so this is the area talking about and we look from the side and we can see the different levels 
Um, it's incredible. Um, and this area, I will show you with the magnifier. From the top level to the ground level, uh, we talk about kilometers. I don't know how tall, but not from this world. What is the top section here? And this is the inner circle I showed you. Um, here, yeah. We we look from this angle here. Yeah, it's a bit confusing, I know, but um, just to show you how how massive these structures are. Yeah. But you can make these comparison for your own guys. Um, it's it's good that we have different angles, different images. So we really can go into deep, deep um, research and analysis. And the shape of the whole area is so impressive. And look at this um, one, they got at least two of these um, mushroom shape or towers, probably landing platforms in combination with collecting sun energy. That would be great in my imagination. <laughs> Yeah, ring shape buildings. And yes, now we come to the one of my favorite areas. Um the first one is the is it this one? I hope so. It's not you, Joe. Um, okay, just the uh, Luna. Okay, here we are. Hmm. Yeah, I um, was thinking about this area here. I thought it's the Joyo crater, but I'm not sure. This one here. Yeah, yeah, okay, we are right. Because here at the side, we look at the Lomonosov crater. Yeah, should be this one, but from uh, from another angle of view. So, the so-called Jolio crater, um, we talk about 164 kilometers in a range, and this is one more <laughs> absolutely impressive. And the small one, this one here, P. I think it's this one here. <laughs> look, look at the verse quality. Look at the Im uh, image manipulation. It's wow, creepy. Yeah, Julio. Yeah, this must be Julio. But my favorite one 
is this one. I really love it. Lomonosov. This is a way better image, but worse quality. But we already can see in this image the towers and the amazing scale. But it's, yeah, it's paintbrush, as you can see. This so-called haze. Oh my God, look at the big tower here. Wow. Amazing image. What's the image name? All right. File not found. Okay. <laughs> Strange. But just keep it in mind for a closer inspe inspection. 2020 zero nine. Lomonosov. Yeah, Wikipedia. Yeah, talking about Wikipedia, it's a different story, but um, Wikipedia it plays a big role in um, spreading out false narratives. But this is a different topic, guys. I think the most of you know what I mean. When you're looking for stats, sports stats or whatever, well, it's good to use, but for this, it's not good. Look at the perfect shapes here. And uh, the edge, you can see that the, that these structures here have a wall. I'm talking about this here. Yeah, it's big, it's standing tall. And um, if you want to grab the special depth as here, you have to know how to read the structures. Reading the structures of lunar surface is not that easy. To me, it took a lot of time to realize what I'm looking at. Um, we have a bird's eye view from the side and it allows us to look into um, the special depth of the structures. And this is just for give you an orientation. But these structures here are standing at least that tall. Yeah. everywhere so we see the top of the buildings yeah look at the connection lines it's absolutely amazing it goes deep it goes down and up and um and i could draw so many lines in here angles but look for your own guys <laughs> And this is the moon. A desert. <laughs> it's absolutely impressive, huh? So many connection lines. And these connection lines are, yeah, structures, buildings. Connected over different levels into each other and so on it's wow this architecture is um yeah what can i say majestic it's 
and as more as we fly up from Lomonosov in this direction to Giordano Bruno, as more we do, it gets up more up, you know, the level. So everything we're looking here is, is so huge constructed in the air. And the impact of details is so, so like a punch, you know, so much to see and you don't know where to start and where to end. It's wow. So the whole area, the whole surface is infrastructured by massive, gigantic structures in the air and in the ground. And this area here, um, the, <laughs> the established science um, is talking about a race system. So these lines here, belong to a race system after an impact. <laughs> it's so laughable guys <laughs> i mean look at this bruno giordano incredible um i mean come on look at the angles massive building absolutely huge um i think this is round about 30 kilometers round about yeah And it's perfect in construction. Look at this. Look at the connection lines. It's so wonderful. It jumps in, in, in our face. Wow. Same here. Look at this. Bruno Giordano. They call it a crater, of course. But guys, the idea of making the moon um, to a impacted area, impacted by asteroids, whatever, the idea is pretty clever. But this is false. This is not true. Oh my God, look at the connection lines upper level, lower level, and goes deeper. Massive connection line coming from here. And look at the, the race system. <laughs> it's so funny. Very creative. Yeah, yeah. Look at his here. Perfect. I'm totally impressed. Pure passion to me, guys. Absolutely passion doing this i mean other people out there are sleeping they have no idea what is going on on the moon and every night you can watch up to the sky and see this wonderful celestial body realizing there's someone our neighbors <clears throat> our own species i don't know Everything is possible. And yes, there are many, many background information about the different species in our solar system. Um, I just remember to um, the Citizen Hearing Conference, Paul Hallier, Hallier, 
uh, ex prime minister of Canada talked about these connections to different species. And I believe him. I mean, the National Press Club, Carl Wolf, a single man told the truth and many people more. Yeah. And this is what the guys, the power people out there trying to hide. Yeah, I could draw so many lines. <laughs> It's funny, huh? Connecting the numbers. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, wonderful, guys. Um, I think I should come to an end. 50 minutes of talking. But guys, yeah. Um, again, this is not a race system. This is a connection line. I mean, it's so clear to see. We can activate the magic pen for closer inspection. This is pure evidence. Do you see a crater down there? No. I don't. You don't. Look at this wonderful construction here. It's amazing. Wow. I will show you something. Give me a second. Okay, I decided to show you, um, not today, another time, but um, yeah, I will draw a bit more. Look at the, um, I hope you can see that. Here, look at the line that comes from here. It goes the whole way. See that? Wow and the shapes it's so beautiful yeah it's a bridge And this is what I mean by they um, have an, use an architecture of terraced style. Yeah. Terraced landscape. Um, that means they use inch by inch, up and down, side by side, and so on. Probably high developed techno technology, technological <laughs> um, civilization, yeah. And they are watching us, ex yeah, observing us. And they are very probably in contact with. Yeah, with the power people. Landing on Earth. And so on. And you and me, we are waking up every day, jumping into a role of life and are functional. Think about it. There is much more out there, but not this life of a slave we live.
crazy crazy shit guys yeah thanks for being my guest um thanks for getting lost in the image with me together um i think we yeah we could explore much more but guys um there's no end as you can see yeah the so-called platforms towers from the side very tall yeah zooming out and look at this guys incredible so amazing one two the mushroom shaped buildings the towers the ring structures rest in peace carl wolf and have a nice weekend guys weekend it's sunday okay have a nice sunday <laughs> bye bye